What is up and welcome to another edition of Worth a Watch with me, Anthony Flores. As you can see, I am prepared for Christmas time and my 150th episode special. Stay tuned very soon for that, but for right now, we're going to be talking a little Anchorman. Anchorman 2 is out. I have seen it. I'm here to review it for you all. But before we get to the quick review I have for that little movie right there, I'm going to be talking about this little classic right here behind me, and that is Anchorman. The Legend of Ron Burgundy. I had no idea what I was getting into when I saw this. And oddly enough, I remember um, so many good, uh, I guess if you want to call it childhood memories, quoting this movie like crazy with my friends. Over time, it was just awesome to watch it on DVD countless times. And for that, I'm going to reenact the best way I can. I can't do a whole too much right now, but... I'm going to be saying, in the best impression that I can, my top 10 favorite Anchorman quotes. These are said by an abundant amount of various characters, mainly Ron Burgundy himself, but I will do my best <laughs> in how fun this is. This is going to be my top 10 favorite quotes. Here we go. This one was, uh, let's see, for those of you who do not know the Anchorman film, I apologize because you may not get half of this stuff, so uh, I will definitely put some sort of link to skip over, I guess, to my review of Anchorman 2, if that's what you're here for. But I don't think you would even bother be doing that because you haven't seen the first one yet. So see the first one, definitely see the first one before you see Anchorman 2. That's just my personal advice. <sighs> here we go. Number 10 was, uh, was said by um, Chris Parnell's character. I forgot the name of him, but I just remember after all the whole stay... Uh, Though, instead of saying stay classy San Diego, he ended up saying go fuck yourself San Diego. And every character was in shock and awe. And just Chris Parnell's character was hilarious when he said this. Just Ron, how, how, <laughs> just starts crying. How can you say that, Ron? The, the, the poop, the poop come out of your mouth, Ron. I hate you, Ron Burgundy. I hate you. <laughs> I'm going to be laughing a lot to myself right now. <clears throat> Number nine. It's one word, simple enough. David Kegner's character. Whammy! <laughs> and we move on. <laughs> Number eight. Well, that escalated quickly. Yeah, Br Brick killed a guy. Yeah, I killed a guy with a trident. <laughs> That's just... It's absurd. It's hilarious. I, I love that. I love that whole scene. I could go on forever. Uh, number seven, just any general continuing joke with this, this is a very, uh, this is all mostly paraphrased, but just the simple Ron Burgundy situation about speaking Spanish, I love the whole joke, running joke in that whole movie, stop, I can't understand what you're saying, I don't speak Spanish, I, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> number six, I'm not just a man. I am an Iger man! <laughs> Number five. Afternoon delight. And I can't sing for shit, but that whole that whole scene was brilliant. I, I love I love every second of that scene right there. Number four. Sixty percent of the time. It works every time. Sex Panther. Made with real bits made with real bits of real Panther. <clears throat> number three <sighs> near the closer to the end of that uh, end of the movie is just Ron's lost all hope and he's just um, bearded like myself and just all fucked up and just having a gallon of milk to drink is a, uh, well milk was a bad choice <laughs> number two I love lamb um I love carpet. I, I, I love lamp. <laughs> oh, brick. Uh, and my number one favorite Anchorman quote is one of the most over-the-top scenes in the movie, and that's hard to top, but Will Ferrell's delivery and insanity of the line when, sadly, when Baxter is thought to be killed and thrown off a bridge by Jack Black in a cameo, and Ron just loses complete... What little sanity he has, he just loses it and just calls Brian. 
um, Paul Rudd's character and just is in a phone booth and just simply shouts, I'm in a glass case of emotion. <laughs> I'm yelling in my house and people are probably thinking I'm a moron. <clears throat> and that is it. My top 10 favorite, paraphrased if you will, Anchorman quotes. Um, hope you enjoyed watching me look like a complete idiot. I love the first movie. I quote it all the time. I love it. Uh, it's hands down one of those movies that just, just settles with you so well and just over time just becomes just as funny as it, it just becomes funnier. I mean, and if you do not like over the top lunacy and insanity in this own idiotic universe that this both movies are within this stupid universe, as I said, you're going to hate these movies. If you hate Will Ferrell or anybody involved, you're obviously going to hate the movie. So it's not like the second one is going to convert you to saying, yeah, you know what? I'll like the second one instead of the first because that's, that's just how it is. Anchorman 2, though, the entire returning cast, fucking awesome. Uh, Will Ferrell and the whole news team, um, Steve Carell, Paul Rudd, and David Koechner, along with Christina Applegate and a slew of new people in here. Megan Good, a very uh, the new boss to the news team in this time around in a global news network that is going to be the first 24-hour news channel. And that's the whole new setup of what news is becoming in, in the year is 1980 and everything is just changing so much in the news, what's becoming of it. There's a nice commentary and satire of that. You also got James Marsden as a new rival for Ron Burgundy and his team. And a slew of returning cameos and awesome supporting characters. I love this movie. I had a blast with this movie. I laughed so hard consistently. There was a bit of a lull. That's my only complaint. There was a bit of lull around the beginning of the third act. And overall, it, it just could have been a little bit more consistent with the story. But that's my only personal nitpicks in regards to the entire film in general. Some people say it's too long, some people say it was so broken apart, but I don't give a shit. I enjoyed every minute of this movie, aside from that bit of a lull in the third act. I really, really thought everyone came back full force. Um, Kristen Wiig and um, Dylan Baker were also great supporting roles too. Um, without giving anything away, if you all love the scene of the epic war against the news teams in the first film, I'm not going to overhype it for y'all, but seriously, it's fucking amazing. All I was saying in the theater, what the fuck? Just what the fuck, man? That's just, it's too much epicosity. Epicosity, I don't know if that's a word. I pretty much doubt that. But my God, it, it just, it, it went down a little bit with that lull, but just went shot right back up and I couldn't have been happier. This is as good of a sequel as you can get. This could have been a very nasty Grown Ups 2, Hangover 2 vibe. Some people I think are saying that. But no, I was not disappointed for nine years gap for this bit of um, a bit of a gap there, um, almost a decade worth it. I think it was worth it. I definitely cannot wait to see it again. It's not as quotable. I don't think it will be. And it's definitely not as good and as the first one. But I will just say it's a very worthy sequel and definitely go have some fun. If you want a good funny comedy over the top idiocy, that's what this movie is. See it at your own risk. If you hate idiotic movies, then you're not going to like it. But if you love Will Ferrell and everybody else involved, you'll love it. You love the first one, I guarantee you should at least like the majority of this movie. And I personally loved it, as I said. And that's all I have to say. I don't want to spoil anything for you all. It's, it's just a really great over-the-top ride. And that should do it for my review of Anchorman 2. I hope you enjoyed me acting like a fucking idiot in the beginning of this video. But regardless, feel free to comment below what is your personal favorite Anchorman quote and what if you thought of Anchorman 2 if you've checked it out. Comment and all that other good stuff in between. So uh, I'm Anthony Flores with Worth Watch and keep going to the movies. Oh, and you stay classy, internet. <laughs>